What is up, my sound engineers? I am Zach with Polyverse Music. Today, we're gonna to be going over how to create a granular effect using our Gatekeeper plugin. Let's get to it. Gatekeeper, simply put, is a volume shaper. It basically can allow a volume to come in and then cut it off. First, I'm going to show you this sample that I have here without the effect running, so I'm gonna turn it off, and so you can get an idea of what the sample is gonna sound like without the gatekeeper effect. Get the basic idea, nice smooth synth. Now I'm gonna turn the gatekeeper effect so you can hear what the end result we're gonna be going for, this granular effect gonna actually sound like. But let's get to it and let me show you how we make this effect. Let's go. When you initially open Gatekeeper, you're gonna see most likely this initial waveform they got going for you. But if you go to here, the presets up here in the top right and hit the I-N-I-T, hit discard, you're gonna have this straight line. So I'm going to leave this first notch at zero. I'm going to bring this closer, but we even want it closer than that. So if you come down here to this bottom left corner, you can see that, that when you change this time parameter, the time changes. And the fastest on beat you can go is 1 slash 128. That's very fast. But still, we even want to go faster. And we want to bring it all the way down to when you see time. And that's going to allow you to move these knobs as milliseconds instead of just on beat. Now, if you hold your right mouse button, you can scroll in and zoom in as we just did. And now I'm gonna bring this all the way down. And right here you can see we're at 200 milliseconds. That's how long the sound's gonna to take to travel through this whole waveform. And then if you click the line, you can bring the envelope up. We're gonna bring it up to a straight line up, zero milliseconds. There's no delay for the sound to come in. And we're actually gonna even make it quicker. And we're going to bring this to 10 milliseconds. Now, something you can also do on these straight lines is if you right click them, you can fade them. You see how it curves in? That can create an interesting, smoother sound. Let's hear what we hear. You can hear now the granular synthesis occurring immediately. You can hear those crackles and pops. You can definitely hear the granular synthesis, but it's not really what we're going for. But let's go to the amplify effect. So if you click these little lines here below the time, amp, and pan, if you click those, it's gonna give you more alternatives. And this ALT is an alternative effect. So we can mess with the sound on the second time it goes through. If I were to have it on positive, 100, it would be actually amplifying that second sound so that you kind of get more of like a type of effect. So it kind of granulates a little more. Let me just go with negative 80. We're gonna keep it at negative 90. And then also what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to this pan and we're gonna alternate that as well. Another thing you can do is you can hit this loop button and this loop button is going to have it go through the envelope and then back through to the front. Give you even more of a granular sound or a different type of granular sound. And I'm just going to stretch this out while I'm playing so you can hear what it's actually doing. Now another little trick you can do with these alternative effects here is mess with the time. I'm going to be moving the alt up and down and see if you can hear what it's actually doing. It should be very, very noticeable in the change of the tempo of the rhythm of the sound. Now, another really cool thing you can do, if you click this delay button, you'll see you have a wet time and a feedback knob. The time is gonna be at eight, feedback's gonna be at 25. Sounds pretty good right there. I'm gonna play it and increase this wet knob so you can hear what's actually happening. I'm gonna leave it very minimal though at five there on the wet, cause it still is very noticeable if you're listening on studio headphones. Thank you. 
That was the initial pad with no effects on it. Now let's turn on gatekeeper and wider so that we can hear this granular synthesis effect that we created just now. I am Zach with Polyverse Music, and this has been a video demonstrating how we can use Gatekeeper to create a granular synthesis sound. Visit us at polyversemusic.com. Thanks for watching.